Hello and welcome back to Finch Plays Darkest Dungeon. We're going to leap straight back into the campaign, straight back into the hamlet. Uh, so far we've not done anything particularly intensive or anything of this nature. We've basically just been kind of milling around doing the, uh, the opening kind of quests, dungeons I suppose. Uh, I'm fine, my brother's a little bit stressed, uh, Big Odd and Sudaval are also a little bit stressed so I've tossed them in the tavern. I don't know whether anyone else has the same kind of thing but I've played the, uh, I've played this before, kind of before the updates. My Plague Doctors are so prone to getting stressed. I don't know whether it's, it's bad luck or what but they just get so stressed so easily. I have no idea why. There's no good reason for it at all. Uh, anyway, we've kind of had a look. Uh, I need to complete more quests to unlock the guild, which is where we can start properly uh, upgrading our stuff, I think, and the blacksmith as well. So let's embark on a bit of a journey. This is going to take us here, so we're going to take, obviously, myself and Alex, and then we're going to take our new guys too. Uh, Chandos, the Seeker Hellion. She seems pretty boss. Oh, yeah. Digging this red and blue combination. I'm going to stick with that. Bloodthirsty, fascinated with injury, wounds, and torture. I can only see that as being really a good thing for somebody who's going to be swinging an axe that size. Uh, Cove Explorer, 20% scouting chance in Cove. That sounds wonderful. We'll toss you in, I think. Shandos. Wait, will you come? Yes. Okay. Uh, Tournabut. Tournabut? That's an interesting name. Egomania, obsessed with self worship. 15% stun resist and 15% damage in ruins. That sounds boss as hell. We will take him in too. Uh, now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you prefer... Oh, you prefer to be kind of near the front. You also prefer to be kind of near the front. I also prefer to be kind of near the front. And then Alex can kind of mill around kind of wherever, I guess. Can you operate from the back? Yeah, he can, I guess. I mean, it's not terrible. The hook and slice and the come hither one seem reasonably decent. I mean, I don't really want to give up every, everything I've got. Uh, you can shoot from the back. You can't grape shot from the back. Tracking shot from the back and open vein. Yeah, uh, it's a difficult one. I've got to stay at the front. I think I don't think that goes there. That kind of goes without saying. Uh, we'll try it like this and then if it's a real handicap, I'll consider swapping uh, our bounty hunter and our rogue around. Uh, we'll get some food in as well. Let's say... We'll get eight food, get two shovels, get some bandages. Uh, we'll take a key with us and we'll take... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Take like, I don't know, 14 torches? I mean, that's cost us quite a lot of money, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm not looking to... You know, I'm not looking to splash out every time, but I feel like until I get a bit more into the groove, a bit more into the swing of things, I really want to get this right. I don't want to end up, you know, with no torches and be fighting in like pitch dark shit. That, that is not what I want to do. Um, I haven't played with uh, Hellion or a Bounty Hunter for a while, although I remember lots of shouting and shit from the Hellion that I had a while ago, so uh, here we are. What's our what's our kind of thing? Complete 100% of room battles uh, and we can go two ways. So let's go this way first. See what we're dealing with. Immediately we come to a, uh, a blockade, which I'm going to try and deal with. There we go. Uh, clear that with a shovel. Don't do what I did last time, which is try and clear it with ourselves and get stressed. Apparently Alex is continuing to get stressed anyway, just because he is who he is. That's uh, <laughs> it's kind of by the by. Uh, first thing, we're up against some bonies, some skeletons, who get to attack first, apparently. Nothing too problematic, I think. Uh, one thing which I have overlooked is that we don't actually have a healer. Uh, <laughs> That might have actually been a good thing to bear in mind. So we're going to have to be really, really careful. Maybe I should have bought a bit more food as well. Uh, let's see. Barbaric Yorp, Wicked Hack. Let's see if we can fuck one of these guys. And we can. An 18 crit straight off the bat. That's pretty fucking boss. That is from our Hellion. Let's see if we can follow sweet with this. Oh, we can with a 10. G Finch, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you can't actually do anything, which is a real concern for us. Um, so I'm going to move you for now and then leave Alex at the back. You can fire off a nice pistol shot for 4 damage. Uh, and then our boy can collect bounty for 11. Oh, hell yeah. Taking some of that. Um, this, I mean, this could go horribly wrong. Alex has already taken a wee bit of damage, uh, which is a concern. 
what we might end up doing, I guess. Oh god, this is feeling really laggy. Um, what we can probably do is kind of like duck out. I mean, I've said it before, but this game does not expect you to just be able to waltz through. Um, you will need to kind of like sod off every now and then, go back to base with your tails between your legs. It's it's just, I guess, how it is. Uh, we've got two battles up here. A trap as well, to bear in mind. Um, let's see. Can you sort that out? Yes, he can. What a guy. De-stresses you a little bit. The Hellion's getting a wee bit stressed, which is not what I like to see. Sax contents are uh, 50 gold. That's fantastic. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this so far. I think it's, uh, I think it's a pretty good game. It's not usually the kind of game I play. I guess it's. Uh, much in the way that my characters get stressed, I also tend to get a wee bit stressed as well, so we're going to have to be a, a little bit careful on kind of like crowd control. Uh, as you can see here, like two bars of stress from one attack is just absolute madness. Um, we'll start to maybe stack up some buffs. Uh, Alex can start to get some extra damage, crit, that kind of thing. Uh, come hither, hook and slice. Oh yeah, get a bit of you going. Uh, no bleed, but that's okay. Nice crit's always welcome. Uh, stressful incantation is the worst. I hate it. There's another two bars of stress. Oh god, they're really picking on my Hellion, but my Hellion, absolute boss, isn't dealing with, uh, isn't phased at all by it. There we go. A lot of health. 26 health. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, let's see. If it bleeds, two points around. See barbaric yorp. There is a stun modifier, which I think as a you know, I want to really use this kind of uh this thing. A bit minus damage, but that's alright. We can deal with that. Um let's try and go for a kind of guaranteed kill on the skeleton, which we nail. What a swing. That's some boss stuff right there. Uh you're gonna skip your go. Gotta take care of these skeletons. They're such assholes for stress. Oh, Eldritch push could be pretty bad. That's gonna knock me back. No, it's not. I'm all good. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess I'm going to pull you forward. Yeah, four damage as well as pulling you forward. That's quite nice because we can get some nice shots going. Maybe try and take you out. That's nice. No more stress from you. I'm going to shoot at you. Six damage isn't too bad. You come out of your stun, no problem. Battering seven shades of shit out of you. Twelve damage. That is so beast. That's incredible. Again with a push, and it does work this time, so I've got to be careful. Uh, uppercut, eh, hook and slice, eh. Come hither, I guess grab a hold of you and try and drag you forward. Yeah, there you go. Corpses are at the back. That's pretty good. Um, you're probably going to resist a stun, so I'd rather just kind of batter seven shades of shit out of you. Let's say wicked hack on you. 14 crit. That is nice. That is really nice. Um, and then Alex, if... Oh, no, he won't be able to. Oh, I... Ugh, I don't know what to do. Um, pistol shot? Maybe I guess just pistol shot the corpse for the crack, I guess. Not really too much else we can do. Rend of the old gods. Resist the bleed. Ah, shit. We're going to have to use a bandage on our Hellion. Uh, Finch plays can't do anything except move forward, which is, I guess, fine. <laughs> Again... Alex is going to shoot a corpse, because that's all he can do. Get another go? What bastard. Oh, I'm bleeding as well. Oi. Collect bounty. Bam. Done. There we go. That should maybe knock out a bit of stress. No, nope, never mind. Best laid plans of mice and men. We've got two bleeds to deal with. Luckily, we bought two bandages. I'm just going to do this now, because I don't want it to be one of those things that just kind of stacks up. Um, we better move to this room with a bit of treasure as well. Oh god. We've not been surprised, which is good, because our light level dipped a little bit low there. Um, we are getting to go rather quickly, so... Alex is going to buff himself, and then... I'll get our bounty hunter in. Oh, that's a lot of damage. This one, Breakthrough, is like a real beast move. There we go. We get a kill and then a bit of extra damage on these guys, but you do get a debuff. I guess, like, Hellions, like, the, the way they, they're built is just like a... A barbarian or a berserker. I mean, you can tell that from the aesthetic, but I guess it's one of those things where you just you dive straight in, do a shitload of damage, and then, you know, come back a bit. <laughs> Take a breather. Which is fine. We can deal with that. I'm actually going to stun this fella. He's got quite high protection, and then maybe see if we can, like, bleed him out or something like that. 
Shoot you. Oh, that is a sweet crit from Alex. And that's actually going to knock a little bit of stress off him as well, which is quite welcome at this point, I think. Our bounty hunter will leap in, do a nice bit of damage, and then a nice crit. I mean, this is this is going pretty nicely. Judging we've not got a healer in the party, I mean, the attrition's starting to wear a little bit. I'm going to have to eat. Oh, I don't want to eat food, necessarily. I think that might suck. Oh, shit. I did not expect to be fighting that early, but we've somehow managed to surprise these guys. So let's take the initiative here. Bounty hunters just like wreck shit. I'm I'm loving them. They're really good, really really fun. Um, our Hellion gonna do a arse load of damage there. If Alex was in a better position, I'd say that we'd probably be more tempted to go for um, for a. Uh, kind of like a grape shot blast, like do a lot of damage to them. That would be quite good. Stress for incantation on our Hellion is not good. Although our Hellion is getting a lot of killing blows at the moment. So maybe that's going to uh, knock that back. She is also taking a lot of damage, but she's resisted that bleed, which is good. Let's see. Alex is going to hopefully pick you off. Boom! Knock a bit of stress off. No, never mind. And then Bounty Hunter coming through in the clutch. I like this group composition. It is obviously really, really kind of like damage heavy, but at the same time, like really, really powerful. Can't really say fairer than that. Uh, I'm going to put myself first still because there is the uh, the shield thing that I've got, which is quite useful. Um, definitely want to keep that if we need it. Basically, I bought enough torches that we can just kind of like get through them as we need. Uh, an accident occurs during the experiment. Shit, you've been blighted. Crap, I don't have any... Well, that's one of the things that can happen, I guess. Two damage per round, that's that's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, I'm hoping that we can find some food, maybe. Um, oh, we're just going to have to wing it, I suppose, at the moment. At least we've got the torch ready to go. If we need to, I guess there's no harm in running like hell. <laughs> See, this guy's going to try and stress out Alex, who is going to be stressed out, but that's fine. He's also going to shoot back, or is he? We do a tracking shot again. We're going to—it it does a little bit of damage, but it also gives us some vital buffs, which is nice. Um, should we just do a massive breakthrough? Hope for a savage crit. I mean, even without a crit, that's a—that's a fuck ton of damage going on there. Uh, our bounty hunter is going to flat out murder that skeleton, which is nice. This guy's going to shoot me in the chest, which I don't appreciate. And this guy's going to go for our bounty hunter. Okay, so we're, we're looking, we're starting to look a little bit kind of like deceased, kind of across the board, which is not good. Um, we've also killed the guys at the front, which is going to make hitting the guys at the back a lot harder, which is maybe not something I considered. Uh, let's see, if we hook and uh, come hither, maybe use it on this guy. He doesn't resist. Yeah, he comes into the forefront. He can get shot at, which is quite nice. Alex is going to shoot the range fella in the chest, who's going to come back and shoot me in the chest. Ow. I'm going to flat out murder this guy. There we go. And then our Hellion can do nothing at the moment. I guess we'll just do a breakthrough. Let's see if we can clear some of the corpses, maybe. I don't know. Uh... Can you? No, you can't. Come hither. Hook and slice. Hook and slice did a fair amount of damage. Oh, not enough damage. And he resisted the bleed. That's pretty bad. Oh, shit. Big crit on our uh, on our bounty hunter. He's on. He's at death's door. See, Alex, can you finish this off? Yes. Alex polishes that off. Good stuff. Okay. This is where we kind of make our decision. Our Hellion's going to try and open this. Open this chest. Uh, we're going to use a key that we brought with us. Unlocks a hidden compartment. We're going to take that. I mean, we've got a fair amount of gold. A fair amount of stuff. I say that this is just not really something that we're going to be able to do necessarily. So let's let's abandon this one. Uh, it's not exactly how I wanted it to go. Uh... <laughs> we we took quite a lot of damage there, and as I mentioned, we didn't get a lucky draw with uh, with our uh, stagecoach. We didn't manage to find another healer or anything like that, so that kind of handicapped us slightly. 
uh, which is not ideal. But we did get some stuff. I don't think we got any XP. Uh, I am Alex Finch is now a bad gambler, which is not ideal. And Chandos is nocturnal. So she loses speed if our torch is above 75. And I'm usually pretty anal about keeping it giggity, uh, keeping it uh, up high. So that's not too good. On the plus side, Big Odd and Sudaval have de-stressed themselves, which is nice. The blacksmith is now unlocked. Uh, the guild is also now unlocked, which is pretty awesome. So we've got three pretty heavily stressed people. So let's go in here. Alex is a bad gambler, so I really don't want to toss him in there. Uh, Chandos is not a bad gambler, so we're going to toss Chandos in the gambling hall. And then Turnabout can go into the brothel. Confirm. Confirm. Out of the way. Confirm. There we go. Costs a lot of money. We've lost a lot of money. There's no two ways about it. The stagecoach. What have you got for us? We've got... Oh, Jesus. We've got a, an arbalest, which I've never actually had before. And a another Seeker Plague Doctor. Okay. Obsessed with cleanliness, stressed in coves, pretty speedy on the first round, and good healing skills while he's camping, which could always be good. Camping is going to be one of those things that we're going to find uh, relatively soon. These camping skills, we'll finally be able to take advantage of them. Really, really interested in the sniper, actually. That's that's really quite nice. She's, she's back, basically. She's right at the back, as you would expect. Uh, so if we don't have... If we can't take Sudaval with us, maybe just having flat damage and stuff like that at the back might be quite good. Um, battlefield bandage. I assume that's only on herself, which is a bit of a shame, but at least she'll be able to look after herself. That's quite nice. Um, move resist. Good scouting. Uh, takes a lot of stress damage from beasts, which is not too good. However, uh, all is not lost. Let's have a quick look before we end the episode into our guild. Uh, this is where we can drag a hero. So let's use me as an example. So I can start to upgrade myself. My smite, my just basic kind of damage attack, I can start to upgrade it. Uh, it costs not too much. So training regimen. See, Instructor Mastery allows upgrading hero combat skills to higher ranks and training regimen reduces the cost. So Instructor Mastery is what we're going to want to do first. 250 gold to upgrade smite. Yes, I think that's fair enough. Uh, this basically just ups the accuracy, which I'm not too fussed about. Uh, Alex can also do the same thing. Uh, just put that away. Lose, wait, what's going on here? How do I get rid of Finch? Okay, Alex, bring him in. Alex is a really... Oh, no, I can't do it while he's in the tavern. Okay, that's new. Uh, the next thing I would say is Sudaval. We're probably going to want to upgrade the flat heal. I mean, upgrading it from 3 to 5 to 4 to 6 is going to be massive. Same with the party heal. Could end up being really, really good for us. I think that is a worthwhile investment. We've still got just shy of 4,000 gold, so that's okay. Having a look in here as well in the blacksmith. As you can probably imagine, the blacksmith is to do with the weaponry and the armor. The furnace as well is similar to the guild skill, which reduces the cost. So weapon smithing, do we have the, the needed stuff? We do, and armor smithing, we don't. But I'm kind of... I don't know if I'm, if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking weapon smithing is probably going to be more useful. Uh, Finch plays, we can upgrade it to, we can upgrade it another couple of points, a bit more crit. It's a bit more pricey, so I'm going to wait until we have a really successful kind of dungeon crawl. Uh, Sudaval, myself, Alex, Big Odd, maybe Turnabut, he was like wrecking lives in there. Do 4 I think is a little bit different from Big Odd, you see he's got, Big Odd has the disorienting blast, whereas uh, Do 4 has incision, which has got a bleed component added to it so if we start stacking blight stacking bleed that's pretty good i can deal with that um however that's where i'm going to end the episode so thank you very much for watching uh, if you did enjoy please do like and subscribe because there will be more of these videos coming out and i will catch you guys next time